In this video, what we're going to do is set up your iOS device so that you can use it for development with Flash Builder. Now, the first thing that you need to do in order to get this working is to download Xcode off of the Mac App Store. That's step one. The next thing you need to do is to go onto the developer.apple.com site over here. And we'll go back to programs list. So this is what you'll see when you go to developer.apple.com. And you need to get a subscription to this iOS developer program right here. It's about $99 a year. And it provides you with the tools to develop for your iPhone and submit to the App Store. And that's all built in. So once you have that, then you need to know your user ID and password. And you go back over to Xcode after plugging in your iOS device. And you want to go over to Window and say Organizer. Now you'll see that your iOS device will show up here. It'll look a little different because you don't have any provisioning profiles installed or have enabled it for development before. So what you're going to want to do is push Add to Portal. And you'll see it'll say Checking for Pending CSR. So that means that your computer and your iOS device do not have a development certificate on it. Now before, you had to go through your keychain access utility and generate one of these things, which was a pain in the butt. Now you just have it do it itself. So you say submit request. And you wait and it says waiting for approval. So then what you need to do is go back over to your developer site. So we'll go back and you need to say home. Let's see if we can find this here. Oh, there it is. So now you need to log in now you'll see over here that it has created this provisioning profile and that it exists. It'll tell you when it expires. It's usually a year. So now you go back over here with your Apple ID, you sign in, and it will install any provisioning profiles that this device can have. Now provisioning profiles allow you to install, device, install applications that you've developed onto this device. Without it, you can't do that. So you'll see here I have one profile. Now this is not the profile that I want to use. What I want to do is to go over to my provisioning portal, which you get through developer.apple.com. So we'll go back here so you can see. You go to your iOS dev center and you go to the provisioning portal. Now under your devices, if you look, you'll see that your iPhone or iPad, whatever your iDevice is, will show up on here. Now we need to go to provisioning You'll see that I've already created a wildcard profile, but we're going to make another one here. So we'll go to distribution. Nope, nope, sorry. App IDs. We go to app IDs. You'll see we have all of these app IDs. Now what we're going to do is create what's called a wildcard app ID. What this allows you to do is to develop a whole bunch of applications under the same ID. Now you do not, let me repeat this, you do not want to submit your application using this provisioning profile because it will not work. You want to make a new one for each device. Now this one, you'll see we already have a whole bunch of apps here under our account, but you need to make a new app ID. And you'll make a description like wildcard ID or something, right? And you use this bundle ID, you probably use your team ID. So this is basically just a number. It doesn't really mean much. And your suffix. Now this suffix, what it needs to be is a star. And this star, you're there, I did that before. So the star allows you to develop any app under this thing. Now, if you put something like this, com dot whatever dot whatever, then it will only work for one app. But if you put a star, then it will work for any app. Okay, now we'll say submit. And you see it's created my wildcard ID right here. So now the next thing we need to do is to go over to provisioning. And we need to create a new provisioning profile. And we'll call it wildcard development. And we'll pick our certificate that we just created. And our app ID, we want it to be wildcard ID, right? And then you want to pick your device or any other devices that you want this to apply to. And you see, I have three devices. I only want it to apply to my own. There we go. Pick OK. Now we'll see that. It's pending. If we refresh the page, Command R in Safari. There it is. Now this is an active profile. You'll see it's not invalid. It is an active profile. Now you need to go back 
over to Xcode and you'll see under your provisioning files if you refresh you click over on the side and you sign in again it's going to fetch and download any provisioning profiles that you have there it is now you can see right here this is the one we just created this wildcard development this is the one we want so now you click and drag it onto the provisioning profile section of your device and then you'll see that it will show up over here or right there now if you go over to your vice, device just to make sure that it's there if you go into settings scroll down find general scroll all the way down and you'll see profiles and you'll see right there there's the profile that you just put in so the device knows that it has that profile that's part one of this. The next part will be setting up Flash Builder.